Hi guys, it's me, Jessie Bo, and today I'm here presenting my day favorites in this purple thing. So I'm just going to reach in and grab whatever. So I'm not doing this in any particular order. I'll figure that out down the line. Maybe in my next one, they'll be in order. But first, I'm going to start off with the dupes for the Sigma Kabuki brushes. I got them off of eBay. I think I didn't pay no more than $10 for a set. It's three sets in this sparkly jar. I'll pull out a set for you. Here's this. Here's one set. It comes with five brushes. You know, have your powder brush, your angled powder brush, your angled kabuki brush, your kabuki brush, and not kabuki, flat top brush, and angled flat top brush, excuse me, and your tapered blending brush. This is it in there. I mean, the only problem I do have with these is, first off, the smell. When you first get them, of course, they're eBay. They have a funny smell to them, but once you wash them, it comes right out. I mean, use something that has a smell. They come, the smell will come right out. Let it dry. Done. Next, I know this is looking right to be raggedy, but I've had this for a while. This is my shea butter. I swear by this for my hair is shea butter. This is a big jar. I have big jar. I have dropped this, as you can see. But what it does to my hair, it makes my hair so soft. Like it has the worst smell ever but i use when i'm putting in my box sprays i coat my hair shaft in it before i apply the weave when i'm doing the lock method this is what i use i use this along with you know other products so yes next i have a bamboo deep strengthening hair mask i use this as a deep conditioner and one of the main reasons i love this one it does make my hair super soft when i'm done but it's so, it's really thick. I don't know if you guys can see how actually thick this is. And unlike other deep conditioners, when I use I only use, I can use any deep conditioner twice. I only get two uses out of a jar. But this one, I get about three or four uses out of it. Because my hair is so thick. And then this product is so thick, I don't have to use as much. So, next I have my Lorac Unzip Palette. I mean, it's not the whole palette, it's not a favorite, but three colors, Unconditional, Unspoken, and Unbrilled. These three right here, I have been using the crap out of in my crease up area. I just mix those three together like I did today, if you can see, and blend it out and apply, hold on, this color in my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I apply, I mix rose and mocha together to get my lid color. This has literally become, these colors have literally become my everyday go-to color I love. Next I have my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm not wearing any concealer today. Like today I just have on powder, eyes, that's it. Very simple look. But my, the color I use is Toffee. I use it up under my eyes. I use it to highlight my, you know, lip. I don't know what the technical word is. And my nose and my forehead and my chin. This is what I use, you know. It's a great product. It's thick. Like, that's one thing I love about it. It's very, very thick. It's e super easy to apply and blend out. I do recommend doing one eye at a time. Just so it doesn't sit, because when this sits, it sits. Blend it out, good to go, awesome. Next is my brow product that I use for my eyes. It's the e.l.f. Brow Kit. All I actually use in this brow kit is the wax. I don't use the powder unless I'm doing something quick with my eyes or if I'm doing my makeup in the car. I'll apply the um, powder to my eyes. I crit my eyelid but that's about it but this wax if you can see I currently is what I'm wearing on my brows now and I just feel I don't fill in my whole brow I just finish filling the tail end of my brows because that's all I really really need 
that's where you know I really need where my brow starts to thin actually thin out next I have the powder that I'm actually current where currently wearing it's the makeup for arrow makeup forever duo matte <laughs> and then my color I actually wear this in is shade 209 it's the it's the powder that this is all I'm wearing on my face as face product is this powder today is you know when I wear this I don't really wear it with liquid foundation especially in the summertime because this is a matte product and it is kind of heavy so on top of you know a liquid with this is kind of heavy if I do a liquid I just use my matte my matte um, skin finish in dark I don't think I have it ever, but in dark, that's what I use with my um, liquid foundation. But for a quick, easy, breezy go to, I don't want to look half dead <laughs> look. I go to this and I've been loving this. I reach for this so much. Awesome. <laughs> Next is a lip combo that I'm cur actually currently wearing. It is the one of the creamy matte shades from Maybelline that they recently, well not recently, but a few months ago they released is in Bare Embrace. You can see I currently have it on. <laughs> but it looks like this. And I'm sorry, I kind of have the sniffles. So I'm like, Ugh. But and this wine, I think it's called wine, but I don't think it's called wine. It's a Jordana lip liner in Mulberry Cream. This, I just simply line my lips with this going in. Like, I, I, it's hard to explain. I have to show it. I line my lips with this one, this wine color. And I fill in my lips with this nude embrace from Maybelline. And that's how I get the current look that I have on my lips. And I love it. It's super simple, super, super easy. And I think it looks really nice and pretty on me. So that's what I've been wearing on my lips. And as far as my mascara, my favorite, like this has become my, one of my favorite mascaras. It's actually replaced my Maybelline Stiletto Lash, which is like a big step because I have loved that mascara since the moment it came out. Since I tried it. Currently, I don't even have my uh, Maybelline Stiletto Lash, but this, if you can see the brush on it, this is what I'm currently wearing. I'm not a big fan of falsies because I cannot put them on. But this is what the brush looks like on it. You can see it. I don't know why. It just makes my, my personally, my lashes look super awesome. Like, wow. I mean, to my personal opinion. Everybody has an opinion. Maybe my lashes to, to some other people like it. Eh. But to me, I love how it makes my lashes look. Next, I have my favorite fragrance. I know it's about time for me to put this away because this is a winter scent. It's the Rihanna Rebel one. It's in the blue one. As you can see, I have worn this thing out. The, pa the paint has come off of it, but the smell on it is so super sexy. And anytime I go out on like a date or anything, you know, guys are like, what's that smell like you smell really good I'm like oh that's that Rihanna <laughs> and it's like oh like that's that like I have noticed men love this <laughs> the Mel species really loves the smell of Rihanna <laughs> so cuz it's like it's real it's a grown-up smell It's musky but it's sexy it's not you know it's not too loud it's very low key but you know you get up get the hugs that you be sprayed right here they hug you and they smell it like what's that <laughs> so next i have eyeliner it's these two eyeliners which are actually this one's the dupe for this one this is the low rock front line front of the line pro eyeliner it's what i'm currently wearing on my as my eyeliner right now but I also reached for my Jessie's Girl, which is a dupe, also a dupe for it. As you can see, they basically come in the exact same tube. So this is the Lorac is more of a gunmetal, and the Jessie Girls is more is silver. And the Lorac is more, you know, the container is more slender than the Jessie Girl. But it's, they're basically the same product. Like I wanted, I was when I found this, I was so happy because I love the Lorac eyeliner like I love I love it just 
effortlessly effortlessly goes onto my lid. So, <laughs> thank you for the dupe, Jessie's girl. I really appreciate it because I think this is like I'm gonna say twenty thirty dollars by itself. I got this in a set with one of my Lorac palettes. So awesome. And I think that's all my favorites for this month. So. Thanks for watching. Comment below some of your favorites in the description bar. I will leave below everything that I mentioned. And if I can find a link for it, I will leave the link beside the item. So comment below. Subscribe. It's free. <laughs> Bye, guys.